U.S. China trade deal might be facing another roadblock when we dig into the details. According to Bloomberg, Beijing wants U.F. tariffs cut down before it will agree to buy the $50 billion worth of American agricultural products President Trump has been talking about. China is still reportedly considering purchases in soybeans, cotton, and ethanol products. Um, but guys, when we talk about sticking points here, that seems to be a rather large one. When we talk about celebrating a, uh, a partial deal here, really hinging on China saying you better take the tariffs away, that we haven't really seen the U.S. take that step yet. It's a big step and not one that's guaranteed. Um, the December 15 tariffs, right. Sure. So the October ones were obviously off the table, but I mean, this was kind of expected because at this point, China's like, well, why would we wrap a uh, rake, excuse me, why would we ramp up product or purchases of agricultural products if you're not going to give us something in return, right? So I think in terms of how much they're purchasing, they plan to purchase a lot, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that 40 to 50 billion estimate is what was quite accurate here. We do know that they they need pork because the African swine fever wiped out a huge population of the hogs in China. So we know that they're going to have to purchase a lot more pork coming in the future. But um, yeah, I think at this point, there's still a lot that needs to be hashed out before both sides sign anything in Chile coming up. Um, it's just the same narrative, honestly. Yeah, Martin, we had, a, we had an economist on yesterday kind of ranking the way that this has gone. He gave President Trump a, a grade of A- minus when it comes to where he got, but maybe a C when it comes to execution. Would you agree watching the way that these both sides have well, gone back? My angle is more that of a tech entrepreneur, and I see what my tech entrepreneurs are doing with China, in China. And it's interesting because for a long time, tech entrepreneurs felt that there was something unfair. So whatever you may feel about Trump, it, it is clear that there was something unfair going on. Their companies were listing here. We couldn't do anything there. Uh, every American company that tried to do something there got destroyed by some local copycat. So I think in that, at that level, uh, we all have a sentiment that we share with the administration. The question, of course, is the execution. It's very personal, his style. And you wonder if he makes progress or he just annoys people. And that's, that's a diplomatic style that we yet to be seen if it works or not. And that's, a, and that's really the point, too, when you talk about those key forced intellectual property transfers that we're talking about in China. Uh, you know, those are some of the things that haven't been resolved yet. Of course, you might think that that progress is being made if you if you buy into what's being said uh, and what updates we're getting from the White House. But still, to your point, these are serious issues that come the next round. Of course, phase one versus phase two or phase three, how many phases there may be, we'll have to see where that goes. But for now, no surefire answers and not even that full partial trade deal signed yet either. So. We'll, we'll continue to bring you updates. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.